In this review, we'll look at two versions of the Case CX250D excavator. Model 2201-3 is the long reach version, and Model 2202-04 is the standard version. The real CX250D was introduced at the Intermat show in 2015, and they were certainly making a song and dance about it. Surprisingly, for models of machines in company colours, they both come in Conrad branded boxes. And just the label at the end tells you what's inside. We will choose the standard excavator and open up the box and see what's inside. Well, the model is protected by the usual foam, and in addition to the model, there's also a bag containing a couple of parts. Assembly for both models is the same, with just the addition of a couple of mirrors. These are plastic parts and one clips on outside the cab, and the other clips onto the handrail on the opposite side. But these particular mirrors won't help the driver very much because they don't have silvered surfaces. Starting with the standard excavator, this model is based on an older casting and it shows underneath because it's very simple. The track frames are also fairly simple and the big rivet in the drive sprocket catches the eye. The standard excavator has a plastic cab guard and the interior detail is reasonably good. This version of the model however is not just a cosmetic upgrade. A grille is represented by graphics, the rear counterweight has been modified and the metal handrails are different too. One nice aspect of the detailing on this version of the model is the hydraulics with its many hoses. The connections are made with small brass rivets, but they're fairly unobtrusive against the case colour scheme. The bucket is a decent metal casting, but it's not removable. The long reach version of the model has an identical body and undercarriage, with one exception, there's no cab guard. The long reach boom seems identical to the earlier versions of the model, and it's fairly simple in terms of its detailing. At the end of the long reach boom and arm, there's a simple bucket. The clue to what is a long reach excavator is probably in the name, but let's get the tape out and see how big the model is. And it's around 16 inches or 40 centimeters. We will start out on the test track with the standard excavator and its tracks won't roll on a smooth surface, but they're fine on a rough surface. Rotation of the model works well, it's fairly smooth and there's no rocking of the body at all. But be warned, if you go in too close when it's turning, the bucket might knock your head off. We now move swiftly on to the digging functions. And the standard excavator has a good range of movement and it can fold up very small. Not quite so good though is the range of bucket movement. And if you want to stretch out the arm of the standard excavator, it's very steady and stable. With that in mind, let's move on to the long reach version. The boom and arm are metal, so this is a challenge for the stability of the model. And if we reach right out, it's just about stable over the front of the tracks. But I hear you shouting, what happens if you dig over the side of the tracks? Well here the stability is not quite as good, and so you can't really pose it at maximum reach. One of the other tests for a model with a long boom is how small it can fold up. So let's give that a try with the 250D. And as you can see here, it passes the test easily with the boom folding right down low. There is another small feature which replicates the real machine, and that is that the boom and arm can be clipped together for transport. That works on the model with a simple plastic clip, and it's able to retain the arm in the folded position when it's being transported. Let's now take a quick look at digging at depth, and once again no expense is spared as we put the standard excavator through its paces. Of course the long boom has an advantage here, and one of the uses it has in real life is the digging of watercourses. Finally we take a look and see how both models fare as transport loads. The small excavator looks fine and the long reach version also looks realistic. These are heavy, strong and robust models from Conrad. Although they are reworkings of earlier models, they're not just cosmetic changes because there are some different castings. The detail level is not the highest, but they are nicely finished models. 
So if you like excavators and case machines, these are recommended. Oh.